What's up? You're watching Wrong Side of the Tracks. I am DJ Mighty Iris, and we are welcoming today Maylot and Faye. Faye produces, right? Maylot's a solo <laughs> R&B, alternative R&B artist, yes. correct? Yes. All right. How you guys doing today? How'd you sleep? Pretty well. Good. Good. Not too bad. Not too much, but not too bad. Not too long, but <laughs> I, sl good. I slept a little long today, but you t I told you the dream I had. I'm not going to tell you guys, though, because it's private. If it involves Conan O'Brien and two bears, so we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> anyway, okay, so let's let's just start from the beginning. How long have you been uh, involved with music, Mila? I have been involved with music my whole life. I've been singing forever, um, but I really decided to start taking it as a career about four years ago. Or okay. So, so it's it's been a journey. It's it's been a transition from the just singing for fun to singing professionally, and and it's been fun. It's and been how old were you when you first started singing? You mean in general? Like um, when you first started to make a, a career out of it, like how old were you when you started um, taking it? I was it? about 20. Oh, okay. One. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, so. And how did you meet Faye? We actually met when we were in college at oh, UT. very cool. And wow. so from there, he told me he produces and begged me to show him my lyrics and sing for him because I was too shy to, to ever go I, in front of anyone, pre present anything that I had done. And How did he break you out of that? kept bugging me. Oh, okay. <laughs> see, with me, it takes alcohol for some reason. Like, you see, I, I drank a little bit ago because I'm nervous right now. Oh, gosh. Um, and, when, <laughs> and when did you get involved with music, Faye? Uh, probably um, when I was like 18 or something like that. When okay. I was 18 and I started working with um, some hip-hop artists here and stuff like that. And um, yeah, since then, I've just I've never stopped. I feel like I've never had a day off. Oh, okay. um, since I was 18. But, um, yeah, since then. But it's one of those jobs that you love to do, so does it feel like you're working, or is it just something, it's, it's like a hobby that you do for a living, right? You know, music, if you didn't have to do it, if you didn't have to survive off it, mm -hmm. would be the greatest thing. Yeah. But once it turns from being something that's just a hobby to something that is a hobby that you have to survive from, you know, it, 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 you know those things can kind of, you know, switch the game up a little bit. So yeah. I love it, but it's also work. Okay, very cool, very cool. All right, I'm gonna have you uh, pick a question, any question. Okay. We're doing this in a tarot card kind of style. <laughs> All right, okay. Mm, center. Do All I right. give it to you? Yes. Do I get to, okay. I will take that. Okay, this question is for, oh, I wrote down the wrong name because I have to call you Faye. Okay, <laughs> for Faye in May Live. All right. Um, Musical influences, since far back as you can remember, who do you remember growing up listening to that you're just like, ah, oh, I want to go into music, I want to sing, I want to... I remember Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, and Selena. Those three, when I was a kid, I was... I remember being able to stand up in the back of my parents' van and just like leaning over and, and singing to them to the, along with the radio and stuff. And I mean, I guess I had to be like, but this big or something. Yeah, yeah. So, I was into Selena video. too. What, yeah. what was your favorite song by any of those artists? Just the, Oh, I remember. remember. Be -de -be -de -be. Oh, yeah, that I was remember a good doing one. that as a little kid. And, um, <laughs> uh, Mariah Carey, it was. Um, I sing it all the time. Da -da -da -da. Mm. Oh, always be my baby. Always be my baby. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. That one, and then of course Whitney Houston trying to sing, "I Will Always Love You" at like however old I was. was when she passed away, I tried to learn that song to sing karaoke, but other people beat me to it. <laughs> so that that was like the the hit after she what? passed away. Everyone was singing that one. Yeah, I'm not that great at it though. Okay, so you, I mean, you you produce songs and uh. stuff. Any. Any producers from back in the day that you, or any groups that you remember just hearing sounds and just being like, holy crap, like how do they do that, you know? Um, I want to do that. I mean, I've had to be kind of eclectic as a producer, so I've had kind of had to. It's funny because I was looking at a lot of my old stuff back in the day and it had a very like Atlanta feel to it. So when we started, you know, that was when TI was really hot. You oh, know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, um, Sounds are gonna be like I used to be very like you know I was gonna say horny but it was is a, a whole lot of you know horns. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, a whole lot of a whole lot of brass and all that. But then I kind of it had the transition because hip hop made the transition to more ambient to yeah. more all that and so I was doing hip hop but I was able to apply the you know 
that type of stuff to her music when yeah. it comes to uh, so the horns those are your favorite instruments you use kind of I, I like more. the piano I like hearing piano and when stuff I was 18, like that the horns were cool you know because they're loud and they're yeah. easy to do but yeah. <laughs> I don't um, Selena used horns too uh, not anymore to be honest um, um, but yeah it's just really I, I've had to be E eclectic and I'm more of a sound guy so it's more like um, yeah it's just it's really anything man. If you ever need a humble kazoo player I'm, I'm down just oh, to, to to blow a few notes on that little <laughs> kazoo you know what I mean? I see you okay. And that's not a metaphorical blow it's just actual blow on a kazoo you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Okay I all right next question next question. All right do I pick or yeah yeah oh actually yeah yeah you pick you pick. All right let's do this. All right yeah. cool. <clears throat> oh, it's for both of you again. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I, I wrote this question. It was awesome. Okay. Do you feel like, um, okay, do you feel like you've succeeded in your music career? And if not, what more do you want out of it? Like, how far do you want to go with it? I want to push the limits. Okay. I want to, I mean, what I've done so far, I'm definitely very proud of. And I, I love what I've accomplished so far, but there's just so much more. I want. Of course, there's the Grammys and, you know, like all of those things. But, you know, I, I want to be able to impact the world in beyond just music. I want to be successful in my music, but I want to be able to use that as a platform to, you know, do like philanthropic type things that make huge impacts in the world. And that's that's really what I want. I think mine would be like, if I heard my song on the radio, I'd probably pee in my pants. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah that would be awesome. I remember the first time I saw one of my songs was on the radio, I think it was actually Purple, Green, Yellow. Oh, no, nice. yeah, see, and that's a really good song. Felony. That's what, well, that's, no, it was, yeah. it was actually felony. felony, and it was actually oh, man, on um, 94.1. Did someone play it though. at the bottom, or was it played on the on the just in the rotation? It was thrown um, in there. Shout out to uh, 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 J C. Flores. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, um, so he was probably mixing live, huh? Yeah, it was back when they were doing the like lunch break, like back in the day. They were they were doing the the, the lunch break, yeah. and um, that was my like and, first song ever. Well, and yeah. it's a very radio friendly song. That song rocks. Purple green yellow. No, Is it that... was it was actually felony. Oh it was okay. Felony. Which was like I mean like that is. Uber, so I don't know if I've heard Uber felony. Is throwback. It's epic. Like okay. you wanna hear that old style. It's epic. Like yeah. rain's pouring and yada <laughs> oh yada God, and all this stuff. So but Toucan, you know, God bless him. He um actually got on there, dropped it. People was excited. My and family was like huddled around. Like they all had things to do, but everyone was like sitting there waiting. I was like, I'm gonna be on the radio. And they're like, okay. And so everyone's yeah, just like yeah, waiting. Yeah. And then like you hear the <laughs> song come on, you think that you think that's it. But it's not, so you're like, okay, all right, next song, next song. But yeah, it's it's definitely it's a good feeling. It's a good uh, feeling. And what yeah. about you? How far do you want to go? I mean, this industry and um, what I've done and what what we're actually trying to do, we are such, we are in the baby, we are in the infancy of what we've kind of started and what we're trying to do. I mean, it's it's funny because like it's it, if you if you if you. Uh, compare it to being an infant it's like you learn so much when you're an infant mm -hmm. but it's really you've only been alive for what five years you know what i'm saying it's nothing and so when we just started we we've learned so much we feel like we've done so much but it's all the basics you know yeah. and getting that basic ground foundation um when you're coming from nothing we don't come from well, I don't come from money. She doesn't come from money. Mm -hmm. I didn't just I just didn't want to speak for you. <laughs> but, um, I, 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 I didn't want to speak for you, but we don't come from money. We don't come from connections. We don't come from anything. And so building that, um, that it seems like it's been a lot of work, and I feel like I deserve a Grammy for that shit. Yeah. But um, um but um. So you want an award? Like you, you'd love a grant. I mean, oh. wouldn't we all like one of those? You That's know, but yeah, yeah, I mean, but like. I feel embarrassed. <laughs> one Grammy cool, but I'm trying to get seven, eight. Right. right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's like, um, I don't think we're ever going to reach a plateau. Um, well, good. That's awesome. Yeah. And this is the beginning. So not to say that we've done everything because we've done like minuscule. Yeah. It's been a lot of freaking work so far. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so. you're good at it. It sounds good. You guys need to listen to your stuff. <laughs> so. Jabbar. All right. Pick another one. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Jabbar? Yeah, Jabbar. You know, people say that when they shoot hoops, right? Yeah. yeah. Jabbar. Of course. See? Alright, I'm gonna go here. I guess we went like all the way down the middle. I guess so. That's funny. Okay, this yeah. question is for me. Like, oh, how, do, how do you prepare for a performance? Any like oh, man. ritualistic kind of stuff you sort do? Sort of. I, I always like, I get like nervous. Yeah, and me too. So like, I really have to just like 
walk, I have to pace around in like a small like area away from everybody else and breathe. Mm -hmm. Literally just, just like breathe in, breathe out, kind of zen out, because otherwise like my, my adrenaline and all my nerves will just be like all over the place, but it's really just like, you know, I don't eat before a show. Um, I, I, I don't. I used to be like that too when I DJ. I, I didn't like eating before, but I, I would drink, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Throw up on the turntable. Like, that's not cute. Nobody that's wants tight. to see that. That's not tight. <laughs> Yeah, yeah so I've thrown up in public and I've, you know, it's not, it's not all that great. It doesn't taste good and people tell you about it the next day, which that's sucks, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's so. not what you want I, people I'm saying about there. your show. So, yeah, yeah it's, I, I don't eat, I don't drink. I drink water and maybe tea. No but, alcohol? But no alcohol. I can't Man, alcohol. that's awesome. Yeah, no, I can't do that. She so. can calm down without alcohol. That yeah. That's really cool. So that's, that's basically it. I, I don't eat. I, I just drink some water, maybe some tea. And, you know, like right before I go on stage, I take my time, zen out, and just kind of be like, okay, you got this, and get out there and do my thing. Good. So, yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, next. <gasps> That's you. All right, I'm gonna do this. Okay. Okay, this is for both of you. <laughs> if you were at a karaoke bar, what song would you sing? Oh, go. You <laughs> I sang one, and I remember that it was like, it's like my favorite song to sing. Some I would sing like Big Pimpin'. I like doing that. Like That's big, a tough big one, isn't it? Like, I wouldn't really sing it. I'd rap it. I'd spit it. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But um, um, I'd do that. I love that song. That song is like tight. It goes hard. It's, it's, it's tight. Like, yeah, I'd do that. That is yeah. a good song. Yeah, Big Pimpin'. Do you know all the words? I, probably. Like, even like he's got like this other verse that at the end, you know what I mean? After, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, 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 it's tight. Like, yeah, Big Pimpin'. <laughs> I I've did. always wanted to do, well, th there's one hip hop song that I've always wanted to do, and I know, I know, I think I know both parts. If I saw the words on the screen, is uh, Get Money by Biggie and Lil' uh -huh. Kim. Yeah. But I want to be Lil' Kim, and okay. I need someone to do the Biggie part. Word. If not, I'm Maybe. cool doing both, but, you know, okay. it's just, it's a tough one, you know? What yeah. about you? For me, I guess it's it's probably Love on Top. I like singing that song. It's Why does it sound familiar? It's by Beyonce. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's a good song. I can't think of how that song. one goes. That's a, that's pretty pretty. Ooh, ooh. Come on, baby. Oh, I don't remember it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Well, next, next question. <laughs> is, that me? is it your turn? It's probably your turn. Go okay. ahead. Okay. Okay, this is for both of you. Um, you know what? Okay, I think I already asked kind of something like that. Um, say you've succeed, you you know reached your goals in the music industry. What else would you like to do? If there was something else you could do after after music um philanthropic stuff definitely um because i am ethiopian and there's a lot of things in ethiopia that i would love to just build up and you know just take care of it's always been a dream of mine i'm like you know if people have money why can't they just help yeah and so that that's definitely one of my first priorities would be to to go back there and and to help build up what could be that's cool. That's very neat. What about you? You have the money to do whatever you want to do. What would you do? I'm not Ethiopian. I'm just, you know, basic nigga. Like, <laughs> like I'm, I'm basic. So, um, 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 you know, I would, um, man, um, if it's about money and things I, I could do, like being a philanthropist, stuff like that, I mean, I would definitely do that. If it's about, like, goals and beyond music, mm -hmm. um, you know, I feel like I'm a... If you can, it's just like if you can play one sport, you can probably play them all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm a creator at heart. You know what I'm saying? So like when we, I went to UT and studied film, like that's what my degrees in. Oh, okay. So um, I I I would continue to create media okay. in its forms and 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 at the end of the day, at the very end of the day, teach through that. But I don't, when I say teach, I don't mean necessarily standard education I mean something valuable mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying not necessarily fables and not n n necessarily life lessons but something that's really valuable that is useful that at the end of the day that people can understand you know simplify through taking a lot of information and putting it into a very tiny box hmm. you know yeah that's very cool that's deep 
thought she was the best. <laughs> okay. How about this one right here? All right, has your name on it. Yeah. So that I wouldn't, you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. I want to talk about your music videos. Who, who, uh, who shoots all those? And it's this really famous guy. Oh yeah. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh yeah. Well, no, you're, you're semi-famous. Really famous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not famous at all. I'm, I'm nobody. So that's oh, cool. Yeah. I was he, wondering. Okay. I mean. For my records, he'll produce and mix and master, mm -hmm. and for the films, he'll shoot and edit and record, or record and shoot. You don't get nervous music. making music videos and stuff? I did at first, but uh -huh. then you realize, you know, if you don't, if you don't just like do it and put it all out there, you're going to be stuck there doing it until you can finally do it and oh, put it okay. all out yeah, there. Okay, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> where, where can we all see like your music videos and stuff? Um, like uh, they are all available on my website, mm -hmm. which is beholdmaylot.com, okay. um, and there's a vid video section which links to all of my YouTube videos and everything. Oh, so okay, very cool. Everything is available on the website. I really like the balance music video. It's very cool. It's very Thank sexy. Yeah, I like it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Yeah. Cool. All right, your turn. Pick one. Oh, is your turn? Oh, I was yeah. excited. I know. I saw that. I probably shouldn't have put him so far away. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking straight. Okay. Um, this question's for you. It's about songwriting. Okay. okay. Do you feel like when you're barely starting out and you're writing lyrics and stuff, it's real deep and it's real like your heart and your passion's all in it. Do you feel like when time goes by and with fame and money, do you feel like the heart isn't there anymore? That when you know in the lyrics, it changes everything. Like with money. I think, I think things do change once you've reached a certain level, but mm -hmm. I think there's a certain truth within lyrics that just, they, I don't think they can go anywhere. I, th I think there has to be a certain amount of truth in, in the lyrics that someone's writing for them to work. Mm -hmm. Like, a, a, if you don't feel what someone's saying in a song, it's, it's, it just doesn't work, it's pointless. So I, I think there's a certain truth that just lives within lyrics regardless of, you know, what stage in your career you're in. So that's kind of how I feel about it. Okay. Yeah. Does it take you a long time to write a song? Some songs can mm -hmm. take a while. Yeah. But some songs are just, I have a tendency to where, you know, I'll just write and write and write about whatever, and then eventually, like, the song pops in and I just write that's all cool. the verses, all the hooks, everything's done, you know? So it, it's it's different for each song. Yeah. yeah, yeah. it takes me a while to write one to myself. <laughs> yeah, <it> definitely <laughs> changes. Last question, then we're gonna try that game. All right. <laughs> Thank All right, you, cheater. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, what music do you guys listen to when you're not creating it? What what else do you listen to? Who are your who are your um, favorites? Like right now. Like right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I I kind of listen. I listen to. Jazz, like Sinatra and oh, okay. Ella Fitzgerald type stuff, and then I also like like alternative rock type of stuff. Okay. And um, I mean, yeah, it's probably really I really kind of stay outside the genre because it's it's a little bit I don't know it's refreshing to hear something different. Yeah, and, and it it's is. In inspiring to hear how you know different genres of music can influence you know what you, what you're making. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I tend to do that, but That's there's, cool. there's no one in particular I don't think that I'm really mm -hmm. listening to right now. You must be a metalhead, I can tell by the look in your eyes. No, I am. Uh, I'm. I'm probably. I'm probably the most basic guy here. I don't. Honestly, I don't listen to much mm -hmm. music. Um, I. I. Um, I to enjoy it. I listen to music a lot of time to hear the courage that people put into stuff. Um, but um, um but um if I'm listening to enjoy it, I mean I'm very basic. Like I've been jamming that hove, that, that new hove. Magna Carta. Um I like that Jesus. Oh yeah, yeah. I heard some of it. Um Um Yeah, I'm I'm basic. And I've been really listening to um nineties stuff a lot. Oh, like nineties like stuff. 90s. <laughs> because uh I feel nineties to me sounds like the future and mm -hmm. I don't I don't understand that. It sounds like the future. Huh. And um, um, so um, I've been listening to 90s stuff a lot. But honestly, I'm just, I got that. Pump Up the Jam sounds like the future to me. <laughs> I swear uh -huh. to God, when when that um, when that Psy song came out, what was it? The Gundam, Gundam style? style? Yeah. yeah. 
immediately I thought of Pump Up the Jam. I was like, that sounds like something I've heard a long time ago. You know That's what I mean? So one night I was DJing and I mixed the two together and it oh. sounded freaking badass. It was good? Oh, yeah, it did. I liked right. it. I want to hear that. Oh, you have to come out to my gig then. Okay. Friday nights at Oak Hills Tavern. <laughs> good. All right. Um, I want to try that game, but we need the buzzers. Are they here? Oh, sweet. Cool. All right. It's <laughs> called Fact or Fuck Off. All right. Okay. Okay. I have here some uh, some lyrics. You don't have to know who the artist is. And if the lyric applies to you, or if you agree with what the lyric says, you hit the button first and you say fact, fact. right? Okay. And if you don't agree with it, you're like, hell no, I don't believe that shit. <laughs> Fuck off, Iris. Well, you don't have to say Iris because uh, I might have to take that kind of personal and I might have to kick you off the show. But okay, ready? Some say the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. <laughs> fact? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Do you want to do you want to explain or do you just want to leave it at that? Life. All it's right, all cool. Good. This is life. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, let me see. Uh, if you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends. <laughs> I got to I got to let them. Maybe you're trying to figure out who sings it before I, you hit the button. I got to let them like I got to let them like ruminate a little bit. I I, 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 I got to let them just marinate in there somewhere. Oh, okay. So do we got to have like a five Okay, five go ahead. Is it, anyway, is it, is okay. It, is it I would say do you think that's true. It's, or? Yeah, it's fact. Like I don't that's know. What's up. I mean, you, you he, he has to meld with your like your friends got to approve if everyone hates him. Is that what that lyric meant? I thought it meant you have to so sleep with my that's friends. That's what I thought. Sleep with my okay, then my bad. That's what I was thinking. Okay, well yeah. All right, cool, cool. I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, bruh. Let's see. No. There's this lyric that says "hang the DJ," but uh, just want to say that I am a DJ, and how you answer that question might affect whether or not you're allowed back on the show. So. <laughs> You know, hang the DJ. No, I. Um, <laughs> I'll let you have it. No, I'll say I'm. Um, I fuck off. I I I, I just. My decision. I, <laughs> That's a cool sound effect. I might have to hit that again. DJs are important. Thank you, you. Know, thank yeah. you, thank you. I appreciate Very that. Important. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that's it. That's all I wrote down. So. Who won? Uh, I think Maylot won. She she hit the buzzer the most times. <laughs> and she also answered that one question, that whole like orgy question or whatever. What? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I, I think, but it, it is Gave cool. I mean, answer. I like that she thinks that you know your friends have to approve your boy. I thought you that's know. what it always meant. Yeah, just know. not sexually because yeah. that wouldn't Man, be right. Like, no, I wouldn't. You know, homie hopper. All right. Homie. No. <laughs> is that the term? That's funny. That's it. <laughs> And he's so serious about it. He's like, no, that's what it's called. Um, okay, so before we leave, okay. my, my show is called Wrong Side of the Tracks. I just wanted to ask if you could like sing the words in your own way, and then I'll sing it in my own way, but put some kind of R&B feel in it, and then hopefully I won't embarrass myself. Okay. Wrong but, side of the tracks? Wrong side of the tracks. Okay. Wrong side of the tracks. That's awesome. Okay, mm -hmm. now I'm right here. Wrong side of the tracks. It's up here. I think you won. Alright, cool. I, I, I was feeling Mail that one. I was feeling that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Good night, San Antonio. Or good morning. You know, whichever. Peace out. Peace out, San Antonio. <laughs> Thank you guys for being on the show.